Hi everyone, welcome to our presentation. My name is Cassidy and I currently serve as the Vice President of Internal Affairs for Dance Marathon at San Diego State University. And hi everyone, my name is Natalie Kingshaw and my pronouns are she, her, hers and I'm currently serving as the Director of Radio Relations for Dance Marathon at San Diego State. And today, we're going to be talking with you all about connecting with families on another level. All right, so our objectives for today's presentation is we are going to outline new connections with kiddos through implementing a pen pal program. We're also gonna share ideas and feedback for strengthening relationships with Dance Marathon parents, as well as identify areas of improvement in the hospital slash Dance Marathon family relations. So um, for getting started with our pen pals, we first sent out introductory emails to the families to see the interest within our contact list of who would want a pen pal. And then we tried to match our pen pals within our radio relations team and last year's VP internal based on interests and hobbies so people could really make the best connections through the pen pal program and based on the family preference we sent either virtual or physical letters to keep in contact throughout the year amazing so this is one of our leadership team members named peter he was one of the people who had a pen pal this past year, and it's just a little blurb about his experience that I'm gonna read for you today. Okay, so in July, 2020, I was paired with Angelina as my pen pal and had no clue how long we were going to keep it going. It's now been almost a year since we were paired and we still try to talk to each other at least once or twice a month. She actually graduated from Radio Children's this past year and sent me a picture when, which was extremely exciting and we were planning on getting coffee soon. It's cool to get to know someone who was treated at Rady and is thriving now. And I'm so glad we had this unusual opportunity to have a pen pal due to COVID. And that was leadership team member, Peter Pagel. He also submitted this picture um, of his pen pal, Angelina at her graduation. Okay, and then next up, we wanna talk about a little bit about our vision for the future of our pen pal program. So really our main goal is to expand it across to more families um, at Rady Children's, which is our local hospital. Um, we wanna include everyone on the leadership team. We have about 58 people on our leadership team. Uh, this past year, we just didn't have enough families to uh, make sure every single person had a pen pal, but I think it would be really cool to make sure we all get that connection. Uh, and then eventually, after we get even more families, uh, we'd like to expand to our team captains um, who have signed up for teams and then just general participants, if we would have enough, that would just be ideal for the future. So next, we want to transition a little bit about advocating for our Dance Marathon parents as we're still trying to be creative in the ways we're making connections. So last year, um, we had the opportunity with a one of our dance marathon moms, Darlene Abrams, um, created a research project along with another mom in our dance marathon program, Jesse Van Lewin, and a UCLA researcher, Melanie Sonstang Person. And they created a project to really center the experiences of mothers of children who have medical complexities and are getting treated at Rady Children's Hospital, which is our local Miracle Network hospital. And one of the mother activists who was involved in the project said, one of the most profound ways you can care for a child with medical complexities is to care for the child's mother. And that's something that's really resonated within our program to really think about how we can better connect with and advocate for our entire Dance Marathon families and specifically supporting the parents. So our connection with the moms, the mother activists of this project and really getting to hear their daily experiences has been a really unique way for us to figure out better ways that we can support our families. 
And just for other programs as a whole, there's a lot of different creative ways that you can create deeper connections with families. That could be through doing a parent, a parent pen pal program to really foster those relationships and learn more about their daily lives. You can host Q and A's and meet and greets, which is something we've done with some of our dance marathon moms that has been really impactful and informational. And another thing we've thought of is hospital care packages for each family member. So um, siblings can be included, parents can be included and the whole family again, feel supported and part of the movement because um, just holistic care for everybody is the best way we're gonna be able to support all of our kids in Dance Marathon. So thank you all. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, Cassidy's email is internal at dm at sdsu.org. And my email is radyrelations at dm at sdsu.org. And you can also follow, follow us on Instagram at dm at sdsu. Thank you so much for listening.